everybody and welcome to this spooky tastic episode of Ramcast. I'm your lovely host Savannah White and I will also be joined with our regular host plus another. Olivia, give yourself a round of applause. Corey, round of applause for the hat. <laughs> and our time traveler has returned. And he's here for all the spooky things we've got prepared for you guys today. So let's give a hand for James. And let's get right into it with our announcements. So a new change is gonna happen, a bit of a spooky change, if you will, to how people are going to be entering in the building in the mornings. Before 8.10, all buses and all dropped off students will be dropped off at the gym lobby. Buses will be in the first row, cars will be in the second row. And that also means that there's really no change for drivers at all. They, you know, they just do their normal thing in the morning. Thursday, the 26th, is a 157 dismissal, and the 27th students are off for the Mount Vernon Conference. So keep your heads on straight with all these days off and early outs. <laughs> uh, what did I do this good day? news, juniors, your PSAT, PSAT, yeah, I said that right the first time, um, as you can tell, has been moved to October 30th instead of what would have been Tuesday. These were some uber spooky announcements, especially for you juniors with your PSATs quivering in your boots. But let's go on to some other spooky ideas, like what's our favorites about this spooky season? So Olivia? Like, what's your guys' scariest memory about Halloween? You. Me? Mm, my Halloweens were never really that scary, except the time I sold that white van. That was pretty scary. I mean, none of my Halloweens have really been that scary, but probably one Halloween whenever I was little is the reason why I'm scared, not even just scared, I'm terrified of the dark. It's not scared, it's terrified at this point. James, you got any scary memories? So, what's everybody's favorite kind of Halloween candy? Reese's. Twix. Anything with chocolate, I don't know. I've kind of it's been happening. in the fruit mood, but anything with chocolate any day of the year is my favorite. James? Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats, me too. What's that? What do I hear? Ah. Oh my god! Jeez. <laughs> I got one. Oh my god! Ah. Ah. The whiteboard. I scream like a girl. Oh, I almost caught it. James, Yay. don't steal my candy! I caught that one, parents. Go here. the off the floor. Don't worry. <laughs> I, James just stole my Snickers. Um. Anyway. What the heck, man? Get your finger off my butterfinger. Uh, I'll get it later, but I'll get it later. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Gee. What's 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 one of the next questions we've got, Corey? What's everyone's costume? I'm going to be steampunk this year. Ooh. Uh, I'm a witch right now, but for Halloween, I'm going as Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses, and my mom's going as Slash. High five. Wait, Good so bad. like Slash is in like a slasher horror character? No, Slash as in the guitarist. I'm sorry, I don't know <laughs> guitarist. I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. I know you're disappointed. I, for today, am Monokuma. If you know, you know. My, but for Halloween, I'm going as a Greek goddess. James, Where's what are you going Doctor. I'm just going to stay a little bit farther away from you now. Plague Doctor! What's some of our other questions we have? Uh, like, what's the scariest story you've ever read? I don't know if it's scary or not, but I just really <laughs> like horror books. I brought a bunch today, but I really like horror books. I like writing horror and reading horror. They're great. So speaking of stories... Like I said, I did bring some books in, so did some of our other members as well, and we're going to talk about a little bit of them. So James, you brought in your book. Why don't you talk about yours first? The Resurrectionist. 
The Lost Works of Spencer Black. What do you want to tell us about what, besides it being the Lost Works, what else is in it? Like, how is it kind of a spooky story? Philadelphia, the 1700s. A mad scientist has gotten the insane notion that mythical animals really existed and are, in fact, our <coughs> evolutionary ancestors. This book details his early life up to his disappearance and all of his designs on the human and creature body. Wow. They're freaky. They're cool, but they're freaky. I'll go next since I'm next to James. I brought a bunch of books today, so I'll just talk about one that I've finished reading completely. But it's called Horror Store. If you're a retail employee, you might relate to this. So, it's the story of how a young 20-something, I believe, college student who's down on her luck is in a job at an Ikea-esque store. And whenever things start getting broken in the middle of the night, her, her manager, and one other co-worker stay the night to try and figure out what's going on. But... Something weird happens at night. I won't spoil it, but... The cover kind of gives you that feeling. May I see the cover? Yeah, there's the bat. There's something there's off about it. Is it like not originally American? I don't. I think it is originally American. Like, he I just added some in. Of, like, the accents. I think the accents just there to remind you that it's supposed to be like IKEA and how IKEA has like Swedish furniture IKEA that has hard scary. to pronounce names for English speakers. IKEA is very scary. I, I, I key is terrifying. Speaking of scary, um, I brought my Edgar Allan Poe collection book. Um, I love Edgar Allan Poe. I've always had an obsession with Edgar Allan Poe. Um, he's a really cool guy. My favorite story out of this book is probably The Telltale Heart, which is has something to do about a murder underneath the house and a heart beating. I'm not going to spoil it, cause, right. most, mainly because I want you guys to go and read it. It was really good. No spoilers, though. No spoilers. I, I've read it before. I like it. It's super I have sticky. Unsolved Murders. The title speaks for itself. Disappointed? No. Yeah. No, I'm not disappointed. Totally not my book or anything. All right. You got some pictures? Um. Hold it up for the camera. Yeah. It's a good book. Love Unsolved Murders. Right. Yeah, I believe in that book it even has the Zodiac Murders as well. I, think I, it does. Just I have an obsession bit. with the Zodiac Murder. Still I'm gonna step a little bit farther away from you two because you scare me. I'm more interested in Jack. Like Jack the Ripper? Quite an interesting one. What do you mean by Jack? Well... Another piece of spooky literature is the simplicity, but also eeriness of two sentence horror stories. So we've got a few to tell you guys to show you how spooky just two simple sentences can be. Starting off, I decided to kill off a few characters in the new book I'm writing. It should definitely spice up my autobiography. I love to turn up my favorite songs and sing along. It drowns out the screaming coming from my basement. <laughs> Yesterday, my parents told me I was too old for an imaginary friend and that I had to let her go. They found her body this morning. <laughs> they say practicing smiling in front of a mirror makes you feel happier. I wish my reflection would join along. <laughs> I stay at a friend's house and... Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. We're having fun. That's all that matters. I mean, that is pretty scary. Friends can be terrifying sometimes. That's why I don't I'm have any. You, Macy. Friends can be terrifying sometimes. What oh. am I, a roach? I stay at a friend's house with a scary painting in the on the wall. Next morning, I found out it was a window. That one 
one's really good, James. Now, as James has just said us a great two, two sentence horror story, he's got some history to tell us about some very, very spooky history. And I promise you, you'll really want a blanket for this one. Gave me chills first time I read it. The plague, also known as the Black Death, would ravage Europe and kill between 75 and 200 million people. Up to 30 or 50 percent of the population of Europe. No one knows the origin of this virus, but many say that the Golden Horde brought it over as they raided Europe. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go spread it some more. <laughs> that has been our spooktastic Ramcast. I really hope you got the chills, thrills, and kills for this episode. We enjoyed making it as much as you probably watched it, and make sure to hit that like subscribe button, and that bell icon to never miss a video. I've been Savannah, this is Olivia, and Corey. I didn't die today. Oh my god, you didn't! It's impressive. It's, it's kind of ironic for the episode. Not yet. That's been the Ramcast. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs>